Yo, what's going on guys? I am a pioneer and I'm here to take all the world's resources and welcome back to the channel. Now, this was something we voted on on the community tab was for me to start playing different games and I thought Satisfactory would be something you might guys might want to see as it is a game that I enjoy very much. Haven't actually played too much of it, but have enjoyed it quite a bit. And I thought, why not just try and do like an old style, like sort of playthrough? There might be edits here and there, depending on what stuff, you know, like try and make the video a bit more entertaining for you. Who knows? I don't really know myself because this is my first time recording this. Um, so yeah, I'm actually not very good at the game. So please don't expect me to be like, oh, you need to put this in this exact percentage and do this. We're going to figure out how stuff goes along during my playthrough. It has been a while since I played, so I don't actually remember a lot um of what i need to do but we'll try and we'll see how it goes uh i'm gonna try and build some really cool stuff and i'm gonna try and make it to wherever it ends up and if you guys are enjoying this then please leave a like if you guys feel like you this is some stuff you want to see in the future and all that and if you want me to play any other games let me know down in the comment section below and yeah we're gonna see how this goes so we're gonna start a new game we're gonna call it youtube as I've already got there, it's going to be a private session, and uh, we're going to play on grass fields. I'm just uh, leaving everything on default, and I'm going to start the game. Now, like I say, I have played this before. I always get past the space elevator part one, and then never play it again, mainly because I've been playing this with friends, and uh, when I play this with friends, we always get to that point of space elevator part one, and then it just suddenly, we just suddenly stop playing. But I feel like seeing the fact this is solo. Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. There's usually subtitles, but I don't know. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. Well, yeah. I, I think playing this solo on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis will be so that it's not overwhelming to the point where I'm trying to grind everything in one day and will mean that it might be a bit more enjoyable for you guys. very slowly. We are the Halo ODST. Planetfall complete. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. My... <laughs> My surround sound audio just kicked in as I opened the doors there. <laughs> this is very funny. And uh, we're out. Welcome to Planet Massage 2, uh, A, B, Massage B, B, 2. your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Try and pick up as much leaves while she just yaps. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base, from now on referred to as the hub. Where should we put Note. our hub? Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. 
Well, I'm gonna be doing a lot of wasting because I ain't good at this it's collecting and stuff and all that. This note. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer sure. should have sure. access to a means of defense uh, against that extraterrestrial that. threats. Sure. Pick up some sulfur while we can. I don't think there's anything I can do. This is a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. Can you stop yapping? <laughs> if I'm right and sane, like I usually, we usually play this around, play around here. So this Third is. Objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. It's iron no. right there. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. All right. Well, we're gonna mine some iron, and then, yeah. The Jill Hub. The Jill Hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Did he drop his iron there? Did the remains of this creature might shed light on how to increase chance of iron user Alright, we should have enough now. Get get this uh concrete is it oh limestone get this limestone pure mind right so now we're gonna build the hub so i usually like to build around here this is where i like to build um when i'm playing this so we're gonna build here we've got these big dumpy dudes we've got a big dumper and he's got this tiny head zip uh, i usually build the <laughs> hub over here at least to begin with because I like to build something a bit bigger um, over next to the iron and all that. And then we'll get building. Hub upgrade. Ten of those. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective. Complete hub upgrade one. Note. The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. I can't click the thing because your thing's in the way. Stop speaking. PP hub upgrade 2, 10 and 10. Okay. This stuff might be very boring, so I'll try and make this as interesting as I can for you guys. God, she just doesn't shut up, does she? There we go. Do boop. Have upgrade three. Now we need to start getting more stuff. Right, that's all that done. We can make a crafting bench. Alright, I've already got a crafting bench. I need to make a workshop. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. I don't know how many I can get out of this. There's no really point in... I guess we could do some smelting, so... Yeah. What have we got? We need uh, copper. Where's our nearest copper? Some up there, normally. That's the closest one, but there's one up there. I'm gonna plop two of these uh, miners onto the... Um, I'm gonna pop two miners on the uh, iron, and then I pop one up there, and we'll just keep going until that's full. Not really what I meant to do, but sure. Also, I hope I have arachnophobia mode on, because I'm terrified of spiders. Um, which turns them into cute little cats, so... Ole! Get spawn camped. Get spawn camped. Did he just... Ah! What the hell? I thought he killed himself. Well, I got... 
And then I can do this. And we can go until that's done. Also, I have no head and back. What the? What happened to my player model? I am the V-Man. That should be enough to get us what we need to do. Leave them running. Hopefully, in like a month's time, if this if this like series goes well, and you guys seem to enjoy it, we shall see how far we have come. Eighth objective. Complete hub upgrade for note. Use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. There's no point in doing any of this just now. I mean, if I wanted to be super fast, then maybe. But yeah, we'll 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 try and make this as efficient as they want us to be. Because <clears throat> I can melt all that shit. First thing we need to do is place down a smeltings. Uh, you do iron, and then I can plot that in there. Uh, constructor, we need iron, reinforced iron plating for that. Where's, the, where's my line? There it is. There we go. Yeah. Uh, you make iron plates. Um, do I have... I don't even have, like, proper power. <laughs> you do that. You give power line more cables. Copy. And then they will smell that. And I can just make another one to smell it the copper, and then we can get sort of on the go. Now, if I make you do copper, and then I pop in some more copper, then you guys can make some stuff. And do your stuff. Yeah, now we're, now we're cooking with oil. <clears throat> See what we can do construction wise to get the, what do I need to do next? I need to select the milestone. 20 of the is, which is cable. And that should be us upgrade for EP upgrade fives next, which is more. Means I can start using the constructor now. Congratulations! You're gonna do iron plates. You have unlocked building conveyor belts and poles. Inventory additional slots. Ninth objective: complete hub upgrade five. Note: portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice: when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. This is going to be, like, very, very interesting to do. Because I think I'm just going to try and go for as max efficiency as possible. Um, I'm going to need as many plates as I can. Well, not max efficiency. What I mean is, like, I'm going to try and go for uh, 
like, I'm gonna go for, like, building all this stuff so I can just get all this out of the way early game. And then, when I'm ready, I'll just head over and start building the foundation of the massive base that we've got. Give me your hand plates. Now you... Yippee, we're, we're now automating stuff already. We've got that fastness going. Uh, pop the rest in there. Yeah, and that's uh, automation on this section going. So I'm gonna go and we're gonna craft some more portable miners so we can like max out for everything we're doing. Basically, when I get this done, I can actually, and we get, like, the ability to start, like, not have to worry about just placing these in the open. And I can work on you know, getting this area sorted for building. And then I can build everything I need. I can early on, so let's do all this. Yippee. It's gonna get mental at some point, because I'm gonna have to go from, uh, basically I'm gonna have to have the ability to go from here all the way over to like, somewhere up there to start producing a lot of stuff. But we'll get there. Those little birds by the way, see what it's doing. It's, uh, it's really cool. What it's doing is it's keeping its mouth open to act like a plant, and um, that like it's like flies and stuff will just land on it and then he goes numb. I think it's really cool. See, die. <laughs> God, I'm such a dick. You're not efficient enough to be in my world. <laughs> Concrete is the main thing that needs to be built. We need more copper. I might as well pop these in here. I'm gonna probably record for like an hour and then afterwards it's just gonna be like me editing it down making sure that it looks good like no silence and all that Jesus what is wrong with my character um making sure there's like no silence no like dead air or anything like that um might be getting a bit too close to that uh makes it as interesting to you guys as it needs to be um, and then, yeah, I'll probably do, like, try and aim for, like, 30 minute to, like, hour long videos. Because, uh, that means that it's, uh, got the long form side of things down. And, uh, but the idea is that this is something that you can watch, or you can play along with, or you can leave in the background, and you can obviously watch when needed. Good that we're getting like wire always seems to be like an issue quite early on for me whenever I play so having copper just copper wire just off the start going mental would be quite good. Light a boop. Bing. Another one? Oh I can yeah okay. Alright that leaves us with Some stuff we can get the iron rods being made off of that. I didn't select the milestone. Select. Congratulations, you have unlocked building miner mark one, building storage container, hub feature, additional biomass burner. Tenth objective complete hub upgrade six. The reason why I've done that is if that makes iron plates, this can make I, I can make iron rods off this, and the rest of the stuff will just be made pretty much naturally. 
Time to go. Yippee. Off we go. Congratulations. Here comes. You have unlocked. Here's our Elevator. unrendered boy. Elevator. He's Building. not rendered in yet. Burner. Heart. Biomass. Motivational message. Congratulations. You succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Pixin Incorporated, I thank you yeah. for your and future service. Is Additional knowledge. The fully hub terminal rendered in has yet. been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and as such initiating project assembly. Good luck. So yeah, that's um that's solid. So I I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't render in fully until I reset the game. So the next thing we got is base building to do, logistics, and field research. Then we've got parts, um, obstacle clearing, jump pads. We've got all these ones. We're going to do base building first because it's going to be the easiest one to get out of the way. Uh, or obstacle clearing. Actually, we're going to get obstacle clearing out of the way because we need the solid fuel. Um, so I'm going to need... We're, luckily, we're making that. We can make. We can easily make a hundred cable. We just need a hundred concrete. Getting the solid fuel early is, uh, or at least the solid fuel recipe early is really good, because that means that we can work off of uh, just instead of biomass, we can just work off of solid fuel, and we can have everything set up in its own way to do that. Until we get down the um, either hydro, coal, power, all that stuff. Yeah, so that's what's got that. We just need screws, like 500 screws, which aren't too bad to do. So if I take that and make that screw, and we just... Boop, then that'll make it easier for us. And we can go off and collect everything else. Um, you see how much limestone we'll actually need later on, so that's why I'm getting this out of the way now. And then once we get obstacle clear, we can clear all this stuff, make sure all that's, uh, you know, completely sorted. Now I know this is going to get stuck, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to collect some of them to begin with, but I'll just let it get stuck there. Don't know how many screws it will end up making, but we'll see. Alright, we've got 210. That should be enough for anything else we need to do. How much has this produced? 168. So we'll just keep collecting all of this. Because I'm just going to make some more iron for it. That's us for this one. Bobbity boop. And then we go clickety click. And then it goes boom. And then he takes reached. off. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Bye bye, dude. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. So we now have more inventory space too, which is really awesome. I guess the be the next best thing we can do now is set up for base building. Which we've already got, we just need a hundred of those other things. Let's take that and make iron rods. And then we just need iron plating. So yeah, this is, um, once we get base building done, that'll be us wrapped up for episode one of uh, this satisfactory playthrough. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I don't know, obviously, how this is going to go views-wise. I don't really mind how it goes views-wise. It's more of just I want to see how you guys, how the people who are actually interested in seeing other video games on the channel are enjoying it and seeing how it goes. <coughs> But yeah, it's uh, look at, looking like it could be pretty fun to uh, do and get sorted. It's going to be a lot different than what we usually do. Obviously, like I understand that you know we're going to be sit, we're we're not going to have any memes. We're might well might not have any memes flashing up on screen. 
uh, it won't be like overly edited it'll just be a nice little video like cuts here and there something different on the channel as opposed to just oh here's me playing a tank here's it edited to a degree and then memes thrown in I want to, I always wanted to play this game all the way to the end and I always wanted to have a playthrough on it on the channel so I think now that we're past 1000 subs this is a perfect time to open myself up to uh, more videos like this and see how it goes milestone exchange concluded fix it freighter re-entry complete yes we should be able to if I was to go over here now we have the chainsaw which is great I just need a bunch of stuff for it which we can get later is it increase? No, it hasn't increased my carry. Alright, that should hopefully be, even though this is just shut down, that should hopefully be enough to get base building done. And then the launch. And that's base building unlocked. Reached. You have unlocked several structures aim to provide the first uh, unit next one we'll probably do is the logistics because that means we get these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing get, um, and sectioning of your factory more conveyors and stuff like that to be able to use for future stuff yeah that leaves us with not too much to do for the next episode so, yeah, guys, I hope you guys have found this relatively interesting. Um, as you see, like, we've we've done quite a lot. It's been a, about an hour that I've been recording for. Done quite a lot. Um, like I say, next one we're going to do is this one. Because um, that is what will be when we get base building sorted. And we can actually start building up the base how I want it and all that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know what you guys think of this new style on of, or different game on the channel. Um, I really appreciate some feedback and see what things we can do and all that to make this a little bit more enjoyable for you guys. And uh, yeah, there isn't too much I can say for this. But yeah, if you have enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like. Uh, comment down below how you feel about it. Obviously, you know, subscribe if you are new to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope to catch you guys in the next one. And as always, peace out.